The first project from Swedish indie developer Wishfully Studios has mostly flown under the radar. On May 23rd, 2023, Planet of Lana was released for Microsoft platforms Xbox Series X, Series S, Xbox One, and PC. Ports for the PlayStation 4, PlayStation 5, and Nintendo Switch would come the following spring. The first thing you'll likely notice is the art, and it's not hard to see who's their muse. The Studio Ghibli-inspired style can be seen not just on their cover art, but in almost every frame of the game. From the wind blowing amongst the grass, to the overgrown, lost civilization, the hand-drawn art has a timeless appeal. The story starts off in a remote fishing village with a seemingly simple and peaceful way of life. Outside of a few discernible names and basic commands, there is no comprehensible language, and the story is told through a simple but effective narrative. As the game teaches you the basic controls, each new area is like turning a page in a children's book, as you anticipate what's around the corner. Complementing the art was a superb soundtrack, capturing emotions one might have watching helplessly as their peaceful village succumbs to an alien invasion. Not long after witnessing your entire village being kidnapped, you set off on a mission to rescue them, where you'll encounter puzzles and obstacles along the way. Soon, you'll befriend a cat-like creature you name Mui, and the game will begin introducing more interesting puzzle mechanics, allowing you to direct your newfound companion. Although it isn't unique to this game, I was hopeful the companion-based gameplay would lead to more interesting and challenging head-scratchers. The puzzle platformer shares more than one thing in common with its inspiration. You have no combat abilities and must avoid enemies through stealth and distraction. From the 2.5D aesthetics to the puzzle designs, Planet of Lana borrows heavily from games like Inside, and I use that term very loosely, because unfortunately, this is where the good bits end, but to be fair, there was a lot to like. However, shortly after teaming up with your friend, the puzzles didn't continue to evolve and I was never really challenged, making the latter half of the game a bit stale. The story was also extremely basic. It lacked development and offered no revelatory moments culminating in a shallow narrative experience. Even though it had a great art style, it was missing something original. For example, some new gameplay mechanics to set it apart. However, innovative this game is not. I think gamers just venturing into the puzzle platformer space will find this to be a very formative experience. Or if you're looking for a nice fireside game to relax to, this can fit that bill too. Fans of Inside will likely fall into two camps. One camp will really enjoy this, and if that's you, then that's great. The other camp will be a bit more critical, which is where I stand. And there are a few harsh words that come to mind unambitious, and unoriginal. Although its evocative art and great music should set it apart, what lies underneath is uninspiring. The puzzles didn't have anything to differentiate it from other puzzle platformers, and its story is so elementary that it truly is like reading a children's book. When it fails to bring anything new, it's hard to not be a little disappointed in Planet of Lana. Still, despite its lack of innovation, it's a perfectly playable puzzle platformer. It's too bad that it's less than the sum of its parts. That's all for this video. You know, Planet of Lana isn't a bad game at all, but hopefully the developers can learn from it and take these lessons into their next project. Anyways, as always, thank you for watching, and see you next time.